President Trump brought his case for a border wall to Texas today. McAllen, which sits right there on the U.S.-Mexico border, is in a region with the most illegal crossings in the country. Several Texas lawmakers were there as well, and something one of them said got the president's attention. Our Jacob Rascone has been in McAllen since last night. He's joining us now with a wrap-up of the president's border visit. Jacob? Bill and Dominique, there are 54 and a half miles of steel fencing like this along the busiest sector of the southern border right here in the Rio Grande Valley. But more than 100 miles of this area is not covered by fencing. And today the lieutenant governor of Texas told the president, just give Texas the money and we'll build the wall. President Trump has promised to build a wall along the southern border since he was a candidate, and tonight was no different. The wall or the steel barrier, they can have any name they want, but we have to have it, and it's going to happen. And just like in 2016, today he promised that Mexico would pay for it indirectly. Well, that's what I mean. Mexico's paying for the wall. And I didn't mean, please write me a check. I mean, very simply, they're paying for it in the trade deal. <laughs> In his first visit to the southern border in Texas, the president said he has a new idea, an option offered by Lieutenant Governor of Texas, Dan Patrick. One of the things that Dan Patrick uh, suggested, which I thought was very interesting, was uh, give the state of Texas a relatively small amount of money. They'll build the wall themselves because they want to build it. Right. You do things very well in Texas, and I like that idea, so we'll take a look. More than 500,000 immigrants were caught crossing the southern border illegally last fiscal year, most of them right here in the Rio Grande Valley sector. Today, the acting Border Patrol chief here briefed the president and toured the border with him. A large crowd of protesters outside the airport chanted, we don't need a wall. Nearby, another large crowd chanted in support of the wall. So most of the southern border, where we are right now, including, does not have any fencing. It's just like this. Today, the president again reiterated that he is willing, and he believes it's his legal right, to declare a national emergency to fund the wall if no deal is reached by redirecting funds that are already there and funding the wall without Congress. Of course, it remains to be seen if he'll actually do that. Tomorrow will tie the longest running partial government shutdown on record. Reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border, Jacob Rascone, KPRC Channel 2 News. Bill and Dominique, back to you. All right, Jacob, thank you.